probably over a year ago now. My name is Alana and I used to be the horse manager here at Tenerife Horse Rescue and I'm back. So here's my first horsey time with Alana since. <laughs> and I'm joined here with Asha from Hoofing Marvelous and the Barefoot Horse Magazine. Yeah. So this is actually a recap. A lot has gone on uh, in the past couple weeks at the Finca, which a few of you might know some of the news. But if you don't, please stay tuned. And if you want to see what happened, obviously keep watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because every click of a button helps us push the, uh, push the videos further to help out our animals. Um, so we had a visit from the vet. I wanted to check up on a few of the horses since I've returned, a few things have changed. And I just wanted her opinion because I trust her opinion fully on some of the questions I had. So now you'll get to see some of the videos of what went on from that visit and what her prognosis is and what we're going to change for the horses' Claire plans in the future. Um, obviously this is a bit of a prelogue to a couple other videos that are going to be coming out soon. So yeah, stay tuned! So thank you for helping me out with everything that we've got to do yeah. today. Plan of action. First off, I want to go see Star. Because, to the back legs. exactly, she, yeah. she, with her recovery, it's a little bit up, a little bit down, a little bit up again. And we just got to figure out where she is at the moment. She's not doing her best. So I'd love to have Zuleika's opinion on that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, see if she needs a little bit of help anywhere. Hopefully we don't have to take any x-rays. We'll see what the what Zuleika wants to do. Yeah. Um, I also need to go to Shanti because obviously to look at the nose. Yeah. Obviously, when Emma's away for baby, <laughs> her horse has to get sick. So yeah. he's just got a little bit of an infection at the moment. Runny nose. Yeah. Exactly. So I think I already know what the plan of action is going to be. But again, let's just get her involved. Confirmation. Yeah. It never hurts. Yeah. Bounty. Her tumors have progressed. So I'd like for her to have a check on if any of these are hindering her because I heard specifically the ones in the mouth, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. Yeah. yeah, we thought maybe it's they're getting caught one. a lot bigger. Yeah, they are. So I just want to check that there's no tumours next to the teeth that she can chew and she's still eating happily yeah. without any interference. Yeah. Um, after Aureo, we're going to go down to Ava. Yeah. Since I've returned, I have seen a definite increase in her arthritis. In, I know that she's not so happy, she's a little bit sore, she's been stopping on the walk. Yeah. Decrease in exercise as well. Yeah. Um, and, yeah. you know, not picking her feet up and her feet aren't looking good. No. It's, she doesn't move very much. No, it's just a general reluctance mm -hmm. to all of the things that we need to keep going for her. Yeah. And um, I'd just love to have a professional opinion on that because really it's, it's developed. Definitely. I know it has, but I need somebody to look at it and check and just tell me, yeah. You're, clarification. You're exactly, clarification and yeah. get a professional opinion. What is up with Lady? So she, she's been getting more active in the field, starting to kick out uh, like White Boy and some of the lower down ones. And I'm not sure if she's overdone it. Uh, the girls said they started to notice she was less wanting to go out on the walk. And at the end of the walk, she was really like, I don't want to go anymore. And about four days ago, three days ago, sorry, thought she was colicking okay. because she was lying and rolling. But we kept like monitoring and actually she just wanted to lie down. So we thought she's trying to take the pressure off the feet. Um, spoke with Roz because she's been doing her back and forth with her, yeah. yeah. And she was like, okay, that's quite normal for her when she's in pain. Put her on butte for a few days. So she's this is her third butte today, this morning. Just the one. Just the one sachet each morning. Perfect. And she's a lot better now. She wouldn't even lift the feet and she was trying to kick you in the um, kick you in the head. She was doing proper ninja style stuff if you tried to pick out her back feet. She does have throat, yeah, bite as well. I don't she, think it'll be so much the feet. I think it's just the fact that she doesn't want to pick her feet up because then she's got to put more weight on the front. But she's doing so much better than when she arrived. When she arrived, she could hardly walk. Um, things that we're going to do. 
let's assume the easiest with her, and I do think it is that. The back feet will be suffering a little bit more, but probably because she's really and truly trying to control her front. She's not as bad moving as I've seen her other times, even on view. Um, so that's okay. in our favor. I would do Butte, maybe like we'll do two, three more days. I'm going to give you a prescription for the other pills. I don't know if you remember them. The yes. Emovas. Emovas. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I remember those from Shabby. So basically, they're just to help circulation. We'll give her that. If she's still quite uncomfortable, we'll be talking from here till next week. I can bring you aspirin. That's like another anti inflammatory slash more tummy friendly than maybe giving her Butte. Yeah. Um, and it will also help with circulation and all these things. But let's go step by step and see what she needs and what we can take out of the equation as soon as possible. Perfect. Um, but we'll try and minimize a little bit what she's going to do because we're going to make her feel more comfortable obviously yeah. I don't as you agree want to overdo it with her I prefer yeah. maybe she's in here more and we hack her out maybe not 40 minutes but 20 minutes half the time yeah, yeah. so she does move about yeah. um, and then slowly reintegrate normal things into her normal life as pills and whatever comes out of the equation her feet are like you know she's done so amazingly since I was last here Even this morning though, like even though there's been the comment he looks better, I did find him at the hay box with fresh gunk right next to him. It was a little bit worse. He's had antibiotics last night and this morning. I know. Just listen. There you go. Right. Smells weird, but it's not gonna kill you. Good boy. I know. Just a minute. So it's kind of thick and it's never smelt? No. Not that we've I've found it out. Every day now. Um, and it only ever comes out of the left, or it yeah. just mainly comes out. Only. Yeah. It's not the end of the world, I promise. It's not nice, but it's not the end of the world. All right, options. Um, one, I would continue with antibiotics. Is this the only episode he's ever had it come out through one nostril, or have we had this happen? Like, from I would my think experience, no, because never. I don't think I've ever had to come and look at Shanti, and I find yeah. it weird that she wouldn't have told me. Yeah. Um, so whether he's just got a little bit congested and it's coming out of one lung more than the other, yeah. okay, it's a little bit weird, but it's not impossible. Um, things that can cause unilateral discharge. Normally, it can be either because we've got a rotten root of some type of tooth that's gotten into a sinus. Um, and it's causing a, a secondary sinus infection, which that comes out of one nostril, not out of the other. You can have a primary sinusitis when you're talking about horses with Cushing's and things like that. He doesn't seem to be the prime candidate for it. Um, but I would simplify. I would give him the antibiotics, maybe for something like a week to 10 days. We can talk about that. You can tell me how discharge goes, whether we continue after a week or not. Um, and if that's it and it's done, fantastic. If this repeats itself, then we, we might want to look into taking x-rays of his head, one to see how his sinuses are doing, one to see how the roots are doing. I can't feel any loose teeth right now, but that's not to say that it's just started to happen yeah. and the tooth is nicely firmly set in its place, but the roots are starting to cause a problem. Um, we can go from there, but let's go simple, then we'll complicate our lives a little bit more. We start seeing episodes of, okay, he's had a little bit of snot, we've dealt with it with the antibiotics, and two months later it happens again, it coincides, it's the same nostril, then we're going to start to be a bit bothered. Yeah. Um, okay. But besides that, we'll be fine. Awesome. Awesome. You know what it's like, because it's shanty, I was like, oh no! <laughs> Now he has to be in with Marilyn, it's the only place he can be, but the thing with Ava is she gets so easily bullied and then she loses all of her confidence because she doesn't know where she's going. Okay. It's more of this knee. When I left, her knees were symmetrical. And then I asked the group when it changed. For a while? Okay. I thought to get you to have a quick look, not just because I needed a check up on the knee, but also the other day she was out on a walk and she stood still with Jemima for literally an hour, would not move a foot for an hour. However, she has been doing okay and usually she's going most days to try and wear down the feet because we can't pick up the feet uh, and to keep her moving because she's in such a small little paddock. It's been obvious, it's yeah. always been obvious. I'd say it was more bulging towards the front than it was towards the side. Yeah. Definitely got more of a bulge to the side. It's probably going to go more and more and more, less flexibility, more discomfort. I got quite a shock yeah. when I saw the feet. In general, they tend to just get worse like, the more they go. Exactly. Um, and it will come to the point that she won't be able to flex now, whether she's going to be comfortable or not comfortable with that. It'll be as quick as it grows, it'll tend to um, it'll be until 
until whenever she is happy. Bounty has mouth tumours. But we weren't sure if they were going to open up or if they've got worse. Oh yeah, she's had quite a lot of them. Yeah, yeah, she always has. This is a 100% tumour. Yeah. I got the bad feeling because of the feel that this one is as well. If it were only up to here, yeah, just cut it and be, be done. Easier. But I'm going to have to invade her top lip. So we're going to leave, leave a really big defect. And yeah. to cut this and cut only part of the tumour to expose the rest of it, it's literally like a cancer that it will start spreading on other parts of her mouth. Yeah. Like they will come back with Vengeance. a revenge. Yeah. Um, in all fairness, what is a revenge? A year, two? I mean, no one knows. But it's going to maybe improve quality of life and we can try and resect the whole thing. But I'd have to look at it really well, like, is it possible to resect as far as how much has it invaded the top lip? If I'm going to be able to take it out and leave a normal lip, okay. If I'm going to leave half a lip cut out, then that's not going to happen. Yeah. Because, I mean, as, if we're being honest, it's not like she's got years and years and no. years and years anyway. So if there is something that can be done to make it more comfortable in those shortened years. Um, but yeah, I'll actually, yeah. double consult on this. See if it's maybe worth a whack at it. Okay. Um, and we can go from there. Awesome. Thank you. Perfect. So, not a very long video, but it's a nice recap and like catch up on some of the ones that we've seen in past videos and Definitely. you know, just some nice things and it's not always the best when we have vets coming, but sometimes we have to do it and when we do do it, it's best to see a, a few of them at the same time. Oh, definitely. And you know, people can see the horses that they're sponsoring, getting the care that they need, anybody who is supporting the sanctuary, everyone who likes, comments, subscribes, pushes the page. Yeah. It just shows everybody super transparently how we actually spend that money because yeah. it doesn't go on the, the buildings or the volunteers because we're freegan and everything is recycled. It means every single penny can go exactly where it's needed to the horse's care. So yeah, when we need to get the vet out, we might as well have a few looked at at the same Absolutely. time. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you very much for watching.